Hello there, Star Wars toy fans. This is Jim Kelsey, and thank you for taking the time to stop by my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a comparison of three vintage Kenner Star Wars toys. Uh, the, all the toys have similar playset bases, what I call land bases. I guess that comes from my days of doing Aurora model kits, but you can call them whatever they want or whatever you want. So we're talking about the Droid Factory, which came out in 1979, the 1983 Jabba the Hutt Dungeon, and then the 1984 Jabba the Hutt Dungeon. So let's first take a look at the Droid Factory. The Droid Factory was one of two pieces from the 1979 year that Kenner produced that were not in the movie. The Imperial Transport was one, which I've already done a video on, and this was the other. And it really was quite a creative uh, toy for its day. Uh, kids like to build things. That's why kids like Legos. And so this gave them an opportunity to create droids. All the parts that you see here can be reassembled uh, with little pegs there to, like, say, adjoin R2's dome to his head or to the body. And uh, or maybe put these arms on. You can add tracks, you can add wheels. And there's numerous videos on the internet of all the different assemblies that you can do with this playset. But it's quite it's quite fun and quite ingenious. The only disappointing thing I think for myself is that I wish that they had made more astromech bodies so that way you can do multiple things with it. And the other disappointing thing is, is that the R2 now is really expensive because if kids are like myself, that's the one you wanted to make the most because it had a third leg option. So you could put the, uh, put the leg in there and, uh, and then you can attach the other legs to the side here. And uh, then you have the, attach the dome, and then you have R2. Now, you may have picked up already that there are a lot of red, that there's a lot of red paint on my toys. And uh, this is because my brother and I had the same play set. And so this, the red paint differentiated mine. All my to Star Wars toys had red on them, hence why there's red on this. Uh, that way we kept them separated. So anyway, back to the R2. This uh, probably what happened, if the same thing happened to me, is that the pegs, like say this peg here, broke off. So what did a kid do? Uh, well, you could mail into Kenner and they had on their order form or instruction sheet, oops, we really do care. So we'll move the camera down here. And here is the instruction sheet that came with the Kenner playset. Now, this is not my original. This is one that I picked up off of eBay to try to more or less complete my set. My set's missing uh, the orange tubes that came with it. But uh, this had an order form here. So it says uh, on there, if any part is missing when you receive the toy or, or broken under normal use, we will as a service replace it free of charge to you. Please return the broken part. So that's what I did. I mailed this in, my name, as well as the broken pieces. And lo and behold, they gave me two legs to that, plus that whole pile of parts that you see over there next to the baggie. All those came with it. And uh, so I feel really fortunate to have uh, been able to get those extra pieces because now that turns out that it's quite a rarity. The other thing that came with the uh, with the playset were the blueprints. And here we have the blueprint booklet. This is my original childhood one. And uh, so you can see all the different droids, you know, how, how to assemble the pieces, how to put on the crane, and uh, then just the different droid patterns that you could make from that. So it's, it's really quite an ingenious, there's the monster droid, quite an ingenious uh, set. Uh, again, you know, kid, kids like to create, and so uh, this is, uh, fulfills exactly that type of role. Now we'll turn our attention to the box art. And uh, here it shows you all the different droids, shows you you can hang things from the crane. Uh, this side piece here shows you what you can do with it, a child playing. Uh, 
there's the Jawas and the Sandcrawler. There's the other side showing the different droids and the proof of purchase seal. And then we have the same thing there. So, the Star Wars Droid Factory from 1979. Now we have the 1983 Jabba the Hutt Dungeon. And this is also one of my childhood toys. Uh, and uh, this, you may notice a similarity between the other base, and I will show that here at the very end of the video. Came with three exclusive figures, as notated on the box, Kla2, Nick2, and 88. And uh, then it's got the same crane, same hook, and then it's got a little branding area. So that way you can mark your, torture your droids, I guess, as they did in the torture chamber. Um, it has... Uh, some different stickers along the side so we'll take off the, the figures here and uh, you'll see some stickers there uh, stickers alongside here stickers alongside the back and I know it's a 80s tape deck and that's pretty much it and then it also has uh, three pegs here a peg there and a peg there and a peg over here so that way you can uh, stand up your figures and keep them in place. Now we'll do a quick comparison here of the uh, of the sets, of the play sets. And uh, I, what I failed to do was show the sticker here. So there's the sticker and that's really the only one uh, that came with this set. Uh, and uh, so looking at it you can see you know, it's exactly the same shell only this time they've added they filled in the spots where you were to put the droid pieces. Um, and I kind of wish they had done a little bit more to this. Uh, maybe had uh, done something. Anyway, I'm not really sure. But uh, here it's even like, uh, well, they, they kind of filled this in. Maybe that's supposed to be molten, but they didn't paint anything. Um, but the piping tends to be the same throughout the whole thing. Uh, but they did a lot of filling in. Of, uh, of spots like up here all this is filled in and uh, you'll notice that the crane is a different color uh, so anyway it was uh, in 1983 when I got this it was a little bit disappointing because I realized I was old enough now I was a teenager and old enough to know that oh they sort of uh, just copied the same playset they didn't create anything new and there really isn't anything from Return of the Jedi that's even part, remotely part of this uh, torture chamber. But not that you really want to torture your droids, uh, but it would have been cool if they had something uh, that you could have done more than just uh, hang a figure from this. And that was something that I did demonstrate before, is you have the pegs on the bottom of the feet, and so you can easily stick, well, if they'll hold. <laughs> this one's a little bit loose, I guess, with time. Let's take a look at the box now. So the box here, there's one side of that. And uh, here is the end. Here it is here. This one I cut out the proof of purchase seals to uh, get some, I think probably the free Anakin Skywalker figure that I have in my collection. And uh, then we notice here uh, and it says, there's a sticker here, use the branding iron on any droids in Jabba's dungeon. Now that sticker was to cover up the wording that uh, Kenner probably thought would have been inappropriate during that age. And it should say, the branding iron will torture any droids in Dra Jabba's dungeon. <laughs> so that probably would not have been very popular with parents had they not put that sticker on there. And then here we have the instruction sheet, and it shows both 8D8, CLA2, and Nikto on there. It shows you how to assemble the whole thing, and then of course it has their We Really Do Care logo. Now here we have the final incarnation of the same exact playset base, and this is the 1984 release of uh, the Jabba the Hutt dungeon. And this one came with three exclusive figures from the Power of the Force set, EV-99, Amanaman, and Barada. Now, as you can imagine, my parents would not have bought me the 
same exact set again. And by this point, I was in high school and a little bit too old for Star Wars toys, so I thought. So I had to buy this as an adult. And, of course, these are not cheap nowadays, especially a Man of Man and EV-99. Uh, but here we have the same exact playset. I'll uh, bring this in for a closer view. Same exact playset, only this time the color is tan. And we have a much darker brown for the crane. A different color brown than what's on the actual droid factory. And uh, we have here same type of stickers that are on the other one. So uh, these guys are not mounted down. Uh, so... So we have our front sticker there, we have our side sticker there, and then we have the two rear stickers, and then of course the, the infamous tape deck. And uh, we have the hook, and of course the branding iron. <clears throat> so we have a man a man and uh, holding his ghastly crane, uh, staff, and then we have Barada, and then we have EV-99. Now, this figure is notorious for the arms coming off, and uh, I got this figure broken. In fact, I did a video on this in which the legs had a bolt going through them, and I, I totally restored them. Uh, so that way the, the legs are fully functional, and the arm moves up and down freely. Uh, the jaw also moves up and down and then this arm was the only remaining limb that still was there. And I just used a, a little bit of um, some plastic oil that I use for slot cars just to get things lubricated, and, and it's fine now. So uh, no problems with that. Well, let's take a, let's take a look at the box, shall we? And uh, so here we have the... The box it's a little bit better condition than my childhood box and uh, here's the side here and it says you can pretend all droids are in a hot time with the branding iron accessory <laughs> so change the wording there of course they change the pictures uh, there's the end there's the side with the proof of purchase seals and there's uh, the flip side of it These are the instructions here. Uh, pretty close to the same thing that we saw with the other instructions, only this time now they have the three exclusive figures. So there you have it. There are the three play sets, exactly the same type of mold. Um, I should also make a note that this plastic is a little bit softer plastic than, say, the other two. The other two is a much stiffer plastic that you would uh, associate, say, with, like, the Millennium Falcon. Well, I... Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I guess one other thing I should mention too are the boxes. And so uh, the boxes are exactly all the same height. So all the same size. So we'll uh, put some boxes here. That way you can see a comparison of them. And they all just stack up really nicely. They're all exactly the same size. So there you have it. Well, put a like in the video if you end up liking this and uh, look forward to future videos.